Hey guys, it's me EJ and I will be telling you practical steps on what to do if you're trans or um, if you're planning on going through medical help for, for transitioning. So practical steps on what to do, whatever stage you are at, talk to someone you trust, you will need support and empathy. It's difficult for me, it's difficult for any type of trans person really. For trust and empathy and support um it's super it's, du it's super duper hard um trying to trust people or having that support from others it's mostly it's really 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 difficult um especially when you're just like coming to term that you are trans um or that you're coming to recovery from hearing that you are trans or whatever um, so it, yeah, it's kind of difficult to trust people, especially me, because I've got trust issues in people, and it's really difficult for me because um, I I don't know. This is something about me that people don't like, and I get it that it's hard for them to trust me because I normally like. give fights well not give fights uh, I normally fight off them I, I I this is what I used to do um if I didn't trust them I would like have a fight with them and then you know be like the alpha male type of thing but yeah um don't do that don't do fights or don't swear at them just be patient and Hopefully you get someone to trust you that much and then that person will support you. Um, empathy is when someone you trust will understand the feelings that you are having. I had that someone. It's now a different person. Now. Telling people how you feel can be emotionally and physically difficult. Yeah, I tried telling my family that and... All I got was negative thoughts, apart from my sister, who actually accepted that I am, that I um, came, I, I came out to her from, uh, as being trans, and she accepted me like that. Telling your family might be difficult. Agree with people you trust how and when your family will be told. If any member of your family reacts neg negatively, you may need to support to help them to be okay with you. If you are supported in shared life, supported living or residential care, your care, your support team will need to be to be supportive and have you have information to help you. To, to talk to your GP and get advice. If the GP is not helpful or supportive, ask to see another GP in the practice. Join a local trans support group if there is one and talk to people who have experienced what you are experiencing. Gather information from trans resources, publications and websites. Talk to other professionals who can help you, for example a psychologist. Have people around you who support you. When you have support, use those people to understand transitioning. Take your time. Transitioning can take a long time. On average, it can it takes two to three years. Talk to people in your trans support group if you want help with your appearance. For example, your clothes and hair. I don't need that because I am totally masculine and I don't need anything wrong doing with my hair. It's fine as it is. Find safe spaces to appear the man or woman you want to be this could include trans social events if they're only near you use your safe space to wear the clothes you want without feeling like you stand out support people to understand how to address you for example your name and whether you to use he she or another term some people may make mistakes when they address you, you can gently correct them. It gets better over time.
Get support to understand which toilets to use. The accepted view is that if you are presenting as a gender, you you use those toilets. This means if your appearance is female, you use female toilets. Whatever stage you are, at, do what is right for you. Take things slowly. This is the best way to do things. Then transitioning. So, uh, yeah. um, transition is a period of time where you change your gender ident identity to what you want it to be. This means changing the appearance to the gender you, you who you are. You can change your identity socially, medically, or both. I'm I'm basically doing socially at the moment because I can't do medical things at the, at the moment because my diabetes. My I've got a risk with my diabetes with my um with different other things um but yeah it's really difficult for me at, at, at this point um so I, I would need to lose weight make make sure that I have stable diabetes and throughout the, the surgeries and that'd be a big help for my diabetes but at the moment I can't medically trans transition all I can do is socially transition and that's just like my appearance and clothing and my hairstyle and the way I look and yeah transitioning socially means changing how you appear and act in the world so this is what I was just basically um, trying to, to explain like a few seconds, seconds ago this could include changing your hair makeup clothes behaviors and voice Transitioning me medically means changing sex by changing your physical appearance and your genitals. These changes are made with hormone treatment and during surgery. Hormone treatment can help make you feel more male or female. Changes to your body and how you feel can be slow. There are different options in the transition phase. And not everyone has surgery or hormone treatment. Transitioning socially will mean to begin living as the person you want to be. That's basically what that's what but that's basically what I'm doing right now. Um, to transition medically, talk to your GP. They will refer you to a gender identity clinic. There are eight in the UK. Uh, there's a few in London, like the Tavistock Gender Clinic. You can also pay privately for your treatment. You do not need a mental health assessment to be referred to a gender identity clinic. It may take up to a year or more for your first appointment. To transition socially and medically, you should have access to counselling. You can find more information about gender identity clinics here at HTTPS dot dot slash slash dic dot nhs dot uk slash part of transitioning is changing your name and your gender and the title on the official documents you can also no you can change your name to whatever you wish um see https the dot dot thing slash slash depoleoffice.com you can change your name officially by a depole I want to do that but you have to pay money for it this is helpful if you want to change your name on your passport and driving license well I don't have a passport yet and I don't have a driver's license because I can't drive at the moment so hopefully I will in the future you can make the changes on most official documents by law without a gender recognition certificate. A gender recognition certificate is a legal chart change of, the, of a gender. To get a new birth certificate with your name, change of name and gender you will need, you will need to get a gender recognition certificate. To change your name on your passport and driving license you will need. One. A gender re recognition certificate or two a new birth or adoption certificate showing your acquired gender or 
Three, a letter from your doctor saying your change of gender is permanent. See http https dot dot slash slash dot dot uk. This is an overview of the transition phase. For more information, contact one of the organisations or speak to your GP. Mm. And then, last bit, I think, kind of, yeah, is who to talk to and where to go to get help you need. So speak to someone you trust. This could be a family member, a friend, a friend who supports you, an advocate, a professional like your GP, a counsellor or a psychologist or a staff member. Staff member. At a face to face trans support group, a local trans night or event. In the following section is a list of support groups you can contact or places. To find resources and information online. So organisations, there is Claire Project, which is a gender support and social group in Brighton. Depend is a support group for families and friends in the UK. Gender Trust, which is supporting adults who, whose lives are affected by the gender identity issues. Goes, which is Gender Identity Research and Education Society. Iman, which is the no, Iman, sorry, which is a support for LGBT Muslims and trans Muslims. Intersex UK a, a, Education Advocacy Campaigning and Support Organisation. Press for Change, which is a legal advice training and research for trans people as well as representative um, public and private bodies mermaids which is to support teenagers and, and children trans barrel which is an event offense and retreats to help members of the trans community trans information adv advocacy group for professionals who identify as trans trans london Trans and social group for trans people in London. Trans research and no research Re research, no resource and empower an empowerment centre, which is based in Manchester with monthly meetings, sport talks and workshops. Trans unite resource for people in the UK searching for support in the trans community. Twilight people, London based project that's it. So celebrates the hidden history of gen transgender and gender preferred people with of faith in the UK. The Beaumont Society, which is this national self help body, and um, there's the last one, which is Scottish Transgender Alliance, which is um, a support for trans people, equality organisations, policymakers, and employers in Scotland. For more organisations connected to transgender training, youth activi activism, 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 health, housing, and sport, to go, go to allabouttrans.org.uk/support. Little line organisation slash. And um, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, then please like the video and give it a little thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload of mine. And please do 
leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do next in my vlogs and of course subscribe to my channel if you really want but it would mean a great deal to me and it would mean a lot to me if it did so bye for now i hope you guys see you uh, i hope i got I hope you sorry i'm like rushing so i'll see you soon with another video of mine later this week or next month bye for now